Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is not Friday, but it's time for how to base. Time for a new how to base. This is part one where I'm going to show you the base, and then I will briefly, very sort of on point, go over all the individual parameters I created the sound. And then part two will be where I go over in-depth theory and how and why and all this good stuff. I just started making this track, like today. I, I was sort of inspired, and I decided to make a track. So this is a, a base in a track that I'm working on. Mm, it's been a while since I've said that, huh? Even more so since last time. Well, not, not even close, more so, whatever. The bass that I'm going to show you today is this guy. This dude here. I'm going to start playing it, we're going to listen to it, and then we'll dive right in. Here we go. Now let's listen to that bass by itself for a second. Uh. So predictably, by listening to it, you could probably probably see play plainly. Oh, hey, it's a Vocodex bass. Cool. Um, there's a patch in here. It's not doing anything. I was gonna do stuff with it, but I did not need to. Phase, phase smash, phase smash was not a thing I wanted to open up. There's EQ and it's whatever. But the un unsuspecting part about this, unless you've seen the preview that I put up, is that this is a bass that I made with Massive. Not only did I make it with Massive, but I also made it with Modern Talking. Ah. Because I'm a massive noob and I'm allowed to do that. Anyway, uh, let's listen to what this sounds like without the Vukadex. So this is actually now, right now, 100% just a massive. Yeah. So um, this is actually sort of an expansion on the idea of the whole choppy RM business that I was doing with uh, Citrus. And every once, every time I did it, I would bring up the fact that you could do this in in massive if you use the filter FM, and that's what I did. So I am using acid at minus twenty four, modern talking at minus twelve, modulation oscillator at minus twenty four because we're now bass minus twenty four. Um, the filter, the target is filter FM on oscillator on well filter one, and the FM is all the way up. And the filter is a low pass four max volume. Serial completely mix number two, no filter in number two, and the cutoff is set to what the, the middle ish, and then resonance is off. That's the crux of the sound right there. The modulation I created a macro and I tagged it to these guys just sort of arbitrarily and set these parameters until I thought they sounded cool. And then I, I'm automating this knob. The yellow automation clip that you're seeing is this, this is that guy. Um, I also engaged white noise. Very high, high frequency color. Uh, the feedback was not actually on. I think I did turn it on, and I thought it was bad to turn it off. Uh, bit crushing pretty heavily, like it's mostly crushed, and then distorted. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, wait. Okay. Um, in voicing, I'm doing uh, Unisono two. I have it on chord mode. Uh, no pitch, but I am doing wavetable position, but not very much, and then panning a little bit. But not very much, apparently, I mean, not at all. Oh, wait, no, I was doing a little bit. Yeah. That's giving us the sort of the panning with, with having a tiny bit of, of that. The pitch modulation is off. Right there, all right, right there. 
restart via gate is enabled. And I believe that's all that I'm doing in massive. I'm distorting it in the effects with tube. And then Mocha Dex. So, um, pretty much directly when you put it in there, it'll sound pretty like this. Like, this is just sort of the property of how the sound is interpreted by Mocha Dex. Um, the benefit of vo this is just like, there's no, it's not being modulated by anything. It's just the sound by itself, modulating itself. So, when you do this, you, it's a bit, it's, it, it's different. Like you, the way you deal with that is different. I'll talk about that part too. But um, I turned off minimum, minimum times, but it doesn't matter because I'm apparently not doing anything below regular uh, levels. Um, I'm saying order four. Uh, the filter fatness is a little bit off half. Uh, the modulator bandwidth, the multiplier, that's what this is, is off a little second, like the tiniest bit. This makes it sound more closely to itself, which it's less saturated. It's more of a sharp uh, analysis curve for the bands. <laughs> I'm automating the pitch and also the unison sometimes. This is this purple guy here. Uh, the bandwidth is pretty low, but I am also setting up individually the bands, the bandwidth, and the, and the drop down menu here, which I believe you guys, you guys can see. Yeah. I'm, mess, I'm messing with, okay, I guess I'm not messing with modulated pitch shift. So the modulated pitch shift, pitching shifting is only happening on the master uh, big guy there. Um, I am letting the carrier through with the, the bass. Um, although that doesn't matter because, as you can kind of hear, there's not really a lot of bass. That's because I have a sub under everything, which is the first time I've ever done this. Ever. At least on purpose. I did it once for Resolve as a test, but I ended up not using it for Resolve, but I did do it in Resolve. This is the first time I decided I'd do it for real. So I did that. Um, it's going through the sidechain channel, and the sidechain channel is being high-passed. That's why it's doing that. Very interesting doing that. And then it's also EQ'd a whole bunch to make it all big and bright to fit in with all the hilarious amount of stuff that's happening in this track. I really did. Like, this track is just, just sort of a sort of a fast inspiration. Like, how, how long have I spent on this track? It wasn't very long. Seven hours total. I had this portion of it done quite a bit earlier. Uh, but, um, yes. It's being side chained. <laughs> The voices are set to three. It's a little bit stereo separating. Uh, the draft is off. I have 47 bands, and that's really all that's happening in this sound. This is kind of a simple sound. Um, it's just sort of a sort of a eureka thing by using the uh, filter FM as basically ring modulation. You'd think that you could use actual ring modulation, but um, it doesn't. Like it doesn't seem to work out that way. Like you could try it, and it doesn't quite do it. Like you can set the mod. You, you have to set the modulation oscillator to. Uh, an octave lower for it to like do the real thing, but it, it's too smooth. It's not choppy enough. Filter FM, however, is choppy. So that's the, that's the point of doing that. Yeah. Um. Nothing else is happening in this. All right. Uh. Cool. So if you're interested more about the theory about all this business, you can come over to part two. We'll talk about the nitty gritty. Um. This, I have no idea what this track This is such a brand new spur of the moment thing. I have no idea what's going to happen with it. But uh, uh, I have a t-shirt for sale. You, you should buy it and stuff. Also, thanks to uh, a lot of you people who bought my um, EP when it came out. That was, that was pretty huge of you. Uh, it worked out pretty good. Um, eventually, I'll have numbers, like whole total numbers. But uh, it's all been very excellent of you. I've been doing lots of lessons, and it's been super great. I just love teaching people. Like, it's just so cool, like, doing that. And it appears to be functional, so that's good. It's good. Everything is good. God. It's 5.30 in the morning, if you're curious as to why I'm weird, weird right now. Anyway, we're basically done. Uh, part two is coming up. And, or whatever. I'm also, okay, I'm not going to give you this. Ah, whatever. I'll, I'll give you this patch. I, I was like, it's too simple. You can do it yourself now. Whatever. I'll just put it. I'll just save it. And before you ask, I, done, I am not going to put up a KSD. I have no idea how to do KSD to NSMV or whatever, or the other way around. It's not a thing I need to worry about because I actually own Massive. So, um, 
part two. Let's. If you have any questions about it, let me know. As usual, have a nice day. Bye bye.